This is the best way of creating modern UIs in Python. The tool is called Custom Tekinter and it's a fork of the official Python graphics library. It has complete compatibility with the main OSIS and it works just like Tekinter but with a modern minimalistic look, simple syntax and virtual compatibility with all the custom forks and extensions of Tekinter. Installing it is pretty easy, the package name is the same as its name. Just write pip install custom Tekinter and you will be ready to go. Let's start by defining our theme for the app. The best way of doing this is by setting the appearance mode to system, so it automatically applies the preferred look selected by the user. Now let's create a class for our main interface. The init is where we need to write the logic for the looks of the app, so it gets automatically loaded when running the function. Remember to pass the CTK function to our class. We can set the features of our app window with the title and geometry functions. Remember that the arguments must be strings and that the geometry is on pixels. With this clear, we can now start with the element. Custom to Kinter goes by widgets, which essentially are just small elements which compose the UI like buttons or labels. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a menu with different screens, so we must create a sidebar for the menu. Also, the way of setting our widgets is by grid, so we need to adapt it to our sidebar design. I will set the weight of our first row and column to 1, which means that it will expand dynamically to fill the available space. And now I will add a frame, a widget that acts as a separate grid to make the sidebar easier to structure, and then add it to the grid on the first row and column, as well as making it stick to the top and bottom. The sticky argument simply means where it's going to adapt our widget, and it goes by coordinates, north, south, east and west. Now that we have everything we need for the sidebar, let's add our buttons. We'll do so with CTK button. Important. If the button or element that we are going to place doesn't need to be modified while the app is running, there is no need to pass it to a variable, but if we need to do things like change the text or size while the app is running, we must do so to apply methods like .configure which lets us modify those parameters. In the case of this app, we will need to change anything so no variables. I want to keep this clear uh, for your future apps. You have a full list of methods on the documentation I will link in the description. Now that you know this, let's continue. We need to pass the parent element to our widget. A parent element just means the container the widget will be in. In my case, it will be our sidebar, but it can be the main window or other widgets like scrollbar frames. Then add some text and the function our button will be executing, with no parentheses. Otherwise, it will execute itself as soon as the script is executed. If you need to specify any arguments to those functions, use the lambda method. Now apply our buttons to the grid. If you don't like the automatic positioning the grid gives us, we can use padding, which are the number of pixels of empty space our widget will have on its border. With the sidebar complete, let's create the main windows in our menu. The best approach for this is to use tab view. Apply it to our main window and set the name of our tabs to the widget. If you look at the code, this is a case of applying the element to a variable, in this case self.tabs, to change its parameters. We can see that we now have successfully created a tab system, but we have no elements on it, so let's add some. I will add a label and text entry for the first tab by applying tab1 to the parent argument, and a slider and switch to the tab2. The third tab will be empty as this is an example. We are almost finished. Let's cover the function our buttons execute. For the pop-up, I will use normal tekinter to show you the compatibility between the two libraries. And for window 1 and window 2, we will use a top level, which is the way of creating other windows in the library. This type of windows have the same way of adding widgets to them as our main window. Also, geometry and title work too. Now that we have our functions ready, let's test the application to ensure everything works correctly. As you can see, we have successfully created a modern and functional interface using Custom Tekinter. Our app includes a sidebar with buttons to switch between screens, a tab system with different input elements like buttons, sliders and switches, full compatibility with Tekinter allowing us to reuse functions like pop-ups, and a modular structure making the UI easy to scale and customize. But I know you want more, right? I have another library which is only one line and makes our UI a thousand times better. It's called PyWind Styles and it applies the new Windows 11 looks to our UI. Also, it works with almost any Python graphics library. Just import it and add this line with the style we want to add.
also pass as the argument the parent windows. Here is the list of all styles, select the one you like the most and enjoy. My favorite ones are acrylic and aero. We've come to an end. I hope you like this video and that what I've showed you helps in future projects. Remember, you have more information on the official documentation. Thanks for watching and happy coding!